So you're thinking about moving to Jacksonville, Florida, but you're interested in Shearwater, this great community that you've heard of in St. Augustine, Florida. Uh, it's got incredible amenities, uh, fantastic housing options, uh, lots and lots of trails and wilderness and nature <laughs> and uh, kayaking. And you're really interested in all that. Well, today you're in luck because I'm gonna cover Shearwater. Uh, we're gonna look at some homes, we're gonna look at some amenities and some different price points. And you're gonna to wanna to stick around to the end because we're getting after it right now. So here's another really cool feature that they have here, an amenity, which is these dog parks. There's a large dog park behind me here, which is called Big Paws. Haha. <laughs> and then over here we have Little Paws, you know, for the smaller dogs. And then behind me, you see these trails that go back. They have 15 miles of walking and bicycling trails that uh, go through this community. And what's very interesting is, I went on those trails and they have actually a lot of raised boardwalk areas so you don't get your feet wet, of course, when you're going over wet areas. Uh, but I had some people say, on your right, and I looked behind me and it was two uh, ladies, two moms that were carrying their children in car seats with helmets, of course, and they were on e-bikes, you know, electric bicycles. And I mean, they were moving up the road there, moving up the trail, they were having a good time. So those kids are lucky to have moms like that, right? But you can definitely do that if you're a mom out here. You can take your kids out, you can go uh, trail riding on your bicycle and have fun. So behind me here is a community garden. And I haven't seen very many communities with that that actually have this feature, this community garden. And from the looks of things, it looks like they're gonna have some uh, really nice vegetables. I can definitely see some lettuce and some tomatoes being grown, uh, but really cool feature. Uh, community garden and of course dog parks. So I wanted you to see these really super nice uh, wooden boardwalks. Uh, which you have access to, you know, to go back to the kayak launch area or just go for a walk, you know, in the woods. Um, but this definitely reminds me of another community, <laughs> and I'm gonna say it, Nocatee, uh, you know, that's set up somewhat like this, but it's an alternative to Nocatee. And uh, you can see that behind me, you can see the uh, hard packed uh, gravel path which leads off of the wooden walkway. So there's a combination of these all the way back. So now we're at Shearwater Landing. I just wanted you to see behind me here. Here we are. That's Trout Creek. And then there's the kayak launch area right there. Pretty cool, right? So I wanted to catch up a little bit on Shearwater, give you a little bit more background. The Homeowners Association in here is $236 a year, and the CDD is gonna range from in the 2000s, uh, varying based on the size of the lot of the house that you live on, okay? Um, there is new construction that's continue, going to continue to be available in this, in this community, uh, but they are approaching the final phases. Uh, the new construction is going to run from the mid-300s for townhomes all the way up to $1 million or thereabouts uh, for a single-family home. You can go that high as well. I wanted to show you there are some 60-foot and larger lots still available in here. As you can see, the spacing on the homes here, uh, they're going to be on preserve or pond lots. 
And um, the builders are uh, Lennar, Dream Finders, and David Weekly. So I wanted to show you, um, oh, and also <laughs> this area is rated for A-rated schools, all A-rated schools. Uh, some of the highest rated in all of Florida here in St. Johns County. And there will be a brand new K through eight school that will be built very soon uh, that Shearwater, part of Shearwater is owned for as well. So I wanted to show you this David Weekly home that's available now. It's called the Riverview. It's 2,637 square feet. It's a four bedroom, four bathroom with a two car garage. Wait till you see inside. It's got a nice uh, office space. It's got really high ceilings, uh, really nice open floor plan, tons of uh, solid surface flooring in there, and it is loaded and ready to go. So I'm going to take you on a walkthrough right now. Let's go. <laughs> If this is your first time to this channel and you want to be the first to know about the current market conditions here in Jacksonville, Florida, subscribe below and tap the bell for notifications so you can be the first to learn about the current market conditions here in Jacksonville, Florida. My name's Jay White, and I get calls, texts, emails all the time from people just like you that are looking for help relocating to this area or selling their home in this area, and I absolutely love it. So whether you're moving sooner or later, reach out to me. I'm happy to help you make a smooth move to Jacksonville. Okay, so the next home that I want to show you is built by Dream Finders. Uh, it's on a 70-foot lot. Uh, there's only a few of these left in this net community that are left for 70-foot lots with Dream Finders. Uh, the next phase of the community, uh, they're going to be on a little bit smaller size lots. And the price ranges on those are going to run from the 500s to the 700,000s. Uh, the price on this one's going to come in that I'm about to show you is going to come in a little bit over 800,000. Uh, it's called the Montauk Plan. It's a four bedroom, three and a half bath with a three car garage. It's 3,154 square feet. It's got incredibly 
high ceilings and incredibly high doors in there. Let's take a walk around, let's go. That's going to wrap up our tour of Shearwater. Um, one point that I wanted to make sure that I drove home to you, um, the price per square foot here is about $100 less per square foot than in Nocatee. So, you know, house for house, I know Nocatee is awesome and totally understand why people want to live there. I would like to live there as well. Uh, but the prices are about $100 a square foot higher in Nocatee than they are over here in Shearwater. Not, not that far away from Nocatee, but it is a little bit west of Nocatee. Uh, still in St. John's County, northern St. John's County. Still have A-rated schools. Still have fantastic amenities. But that's going to wrap up our tour of Shearwater. I hope you got a lot out of it. Um, if you live in Shearwater or if you live in northern St. John's County and there's anything you want to add, feel free to leave those comments below. And um, feel free to reach out to me directly. My contact information is in the description below. If I can help you, uh, you know, make a smooth move this way, that's what I'm here to do. Reach out to me. I'm here to help you every step of the way. I am a local agent, and it's my job to help you make that smooth move to Jacksonville. And until next time, hope to show you around town.